Yo, what's up guys? This is Murph. Let me show you guys how I made a starter for me and Rose's newest lube kit, Steel Human 3, which is out on his YouTube now. This lube is called Injury Time. I'm gonna start with uh, preamps for guitar. Basically, my go to is either Corey Wong, Bias Effects, or I use um, Guitar Rig 5 or 6 if you have it. Um, for presets, you should just go with uh, a clean preset that you know you can add your own effects to uh core wong is really nice because it has auto compression and then uh bias effects is really nice because it uses a lot less cpu and it has a has a pretty pretty good noise gate on it that i use for my my electrics um so starting with the bass layer um this is what we have without effects <laughs> Okay, and just so you know what key we're in, we're in F sharp minor, so. Yeah, and then for the effects for the, for the bass layer, uh, EQ, Retro Color, and Portal, sort of not using any reverb, because the preset already has a crazy amount of reverb, and sort of like an auto synth that I made in the background. I think it was a Corey Wong preset called Gardening. Uh, this is what it sounds like with effects. So just adding more space um, without necessarily putting more reverb on it. And then onto the top layer. So top layers can be kind of difficult sometimes and making it sound good, but not too cluttered. And so the key for top uh, melodies, in my opinion, is just trying to complement the, um, like the bass melody. Just sort of going back and forth with, you know, complementing transition notes in the scale and whatnot. So for this one, reverb, EQ, and love filter. I think I have love filter on just because it was uh, most likely clipping a lot because I had to sort of rearrange these to put them on tempo. Now onto the final guitar layer. I layered it B because that's what it really sounds like. Um, I think it's this note cut out of here, but basically what I did is um, I tried to show you with sort of like the color scheme here. I did two notes, so. And then I pitched this one up, I think, at 900 sounds. And then the next set, I would do 700 sounds. So these two are a whole step apart in the scale. And I just kept repeating that, as you can see. So this is what it sounds like without effects. And with effects. And so yeah. Um, those are basically the three things I, I look for now when making guitar loop. I do bass layer, my top melodies, and I try and put something in the background, you know, whether it's like, um, just like a steady strumming sound or some sort of like rhythmic pattern that just sort of like is consistent throughout the loop. It kind of adds like more of like a, a uh, I don't really know, like a whole feeling to the loop as it makes it feel more complete. Also in this one, you can sort of just see like, it fills in the gaps between the top melody. So just filling up space. And then going to the bass, uh, I'm using boo bass here, which I don't really use anymore, but uh, it used to be pretty consistent for me. Something I could really just pull up. Um, nowadays, more often than not, I use modem bass. It has a lot of good presets in it and like a lot of different options. It's kind of glitchy, but it's good. And then lastly, I was just doing some reverse melodies. So basically when you're doing reverse melodies, if you don't really know what to do, my recommendation is just play a bunch of high notes in the scale because it's very simple. And then yeah, very simple. Reverse it, you know, cut it like this. Whatever else you need to do. And then just line it up <clears throat> wherever you think it sounds good here. Whether it's like beginning here, uh, halfway through a bar, whatever. 
That's what it sounds like with their version. Uh, and then reverse, obviously you just need to <coughs> reverb it out and uh, low filter it so you get rid of like the weird sort of choppiness you get at the end of these notes right here. That's really not, doesn't sound good. But makes it more bearable. And again, obviously you guys probably use risers, but just adding more like of a, of a progression to the loop. So this is what it sounds like together. Let's go with y'all. Rohan Rockso back on the channel. Merc broke down at the starter, so I'm gonna get into the rest of the loop. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. I didn't really add any sounds or anything. I just messed around with the loop as it was. First thing I did was uh, put everything on stretch mode. Put it down to 94, just uh, just because the bounce sounded like a little better to me when I put on some like dummy drums. You need to drag in a little hi hat, little snare, and you check it out. Uh, next thing was I just pitched everything down to E minor, so we're in E minor from F sharp now. And yeah, I just pretty much laid everything out. Like one of the few things I did was the, for the reverse guitars, I pitched everything up just cause uh, you could hear it more that way and it was more uh, in the mix. Uh, for effects, I only really added any notable effects on uh, the main guitar with this EQ right here and the reverse guitar. So. <clears throat> For that, I added like a lot of delay, a lot of panning, uh, this little suit too right here for some resonances because when you pitch things up, you know, you're probably going to have some. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did to the loop. Before we get into the beat, I want to talk a little bit about Waves. Now, Waves is a site used to uh, upload loops, samples, uh, stems, things of that sort. So as you can see, it's got like a pretty robust user base right here. So uh, if I just click on any of these, you can see a preview of the kit. You can see like legends like Hoop the Truth in here, no fuck in here. So if I can just click this, you can get like a nice little preview. So I ain't gonna play too much of that, but like we go into the pack right here. And as you can see, you can just get your credits by signing up and simply just hit download and you can have any of these in your desktop to use. And you can just go crazy on a Hoop the Truth loop or anything. It's really simple. It's got a great UI. I highly recommend it. I upload here myself if you're trying to check it out. I'm going to have my link uh, down below and you can get a discount off that too. So check that out. I'm going to have that down below. All right, my webcam is fucking up, but I just make this video real quick. So yeah, I just used the bass line to kind of figure out what I was going to do with that. Probably had a kick in here. Just going to add 
like a little bit of ear candy and shit now. Perks here. I think it's a Detroit beat or something. <laughs> Alright, and with that being done, yeah, I'm gonna lay this out. I'll probably make some changes to like the 808 and the uh, hi hats, like during the arrangement, and just like switch them up a little bit too. He hurt someone outside. <laughs> Alright, I think she's chill now, so. Yeah, just one verse since this is such a slow ass beat. Uh, it's gonna be really long if it's. Uh, more so what I like to do is just cut it to two hooks in one verse when I'm like when I'm like below like 112 or something that's what I do but yeah that's pretty much the beat uh not nothing too crazy but uh yeah that's how you work with starters that are like pretty full you know you don't want to ruin the loop just for your ego just to be like oh I added so much to this you know just keep it simple uh made a simple beat too uh check out steel human 3 it's 100 percent free so there's no reason not to get it. I'm gonna link that down below. Check out Murph, he's fire too. Dope guitar starters like this. If you're really looking for some, check out my Waves affiliate link and all the socials for the gang and myself. And have a good one, fellas, take care.